Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Capricorn. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. As usual, this will be a general collective reading and it will not resonate with every Capricorn and it will not resonate with every Capricorn cross watcher. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. But if you have sun, moon, rising or Venus placements in Capricorn or you are dealing with someone that does have those birth chart placements, this reading could resonate with you. Please take a moment to read through the description box, especially if it is your first time here. And if it, it is, welcome to my channel. I do offer a channel membership if you're interested um, in getting access to all my extended readings. Click the join button below. Personal readings are open. There is a link in the description box to schedule a personal reading with me. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you are interested in collective readings. All right, what is going on? Okay, so we have true love and we have divorce. Oh, goodness. What's going on here? Plastic. Okay. What? And we have forever change. <laughs> interesting we have stringing along on the back of the deck all right this is already a doozy y'all what is this about what is this well i'm already getting that like one relationship is ending and another one is maybe manifesting a true love one like a, a relationship where it wasn't true love is coming to an end whether it was a marriage or just a relationship it's coming to an end and there's some type of bond that's manifesting or some type of relationship that is ending but you could have been dealing with somebody that there is true love between the two of you but they've been stringing you along while they're getting their life together getting their shit together this is somebody that's possibly getting a divorce or they need to end another relationship or in the process of ending another relationship um where there is no love in that situation Hmm. Okay. Tell me about true love. Money is tight. Okay. What does that do? <laughs> Mixed feelings. <laughs> well, I hope that what I, the download that I just got isn't the truth, but maybe you guys, somebody's been like, huh, unsure of the relationship, indecisive, conflicting feelings. So you guys could be dealing with somebody that you really love, but they're unstable. Like they do not have their shit together. Like I already said, or they're broke. Like they're, they don't have their money together, which, you know, money isn't everything, but Maybe there's like something about their instability that's making you feel like you don't know if you should continue to be with this person or engage with them. Like, you know how they say love isn't enough. That's what's going on here. Like you love them, but all the other shit that they've got going on is making you conflicted. So I feel like you're maybe thinking you guys need some time apart or a break. You need some time apart or a break from each other so that they can get their stuff together and... And, or this is what maybe somebody is thinking. Maybe this person does truly love you, but they're going through some financial issues and they haven't been 100% sure about if this is, you know, they wanted to be with you or they, they've been still trying to decide about you. But I see that either they think you guys need some time apart or you guys are in some type of separation right now, but they're thinking about a future with you. Like they're going to choose you. They're going to decide. They don't want to lose this connection. All right. So tell me about divorce. Okay, so they're maybe going through some type of like fight, like they're fighting in court over something. That's what I'm getting. They they, they want one thing, their ex-wife or ex-husband wants another thing. I just saw 333 on the camera when I said that. Yeah, it's like they're trying to let go of somebody to be able to have like a new love. But why are they making a difficult, what's the difficult choice? Why is this a difficult choice? Uh, maybe they're afraid of leaving their comfort zone. What about spell work? My rock. Something is manifesting though. Why is this a difficult decision though? Why is that hard for them to decide? Give it, I see. Why are they not making up their mind? Mm, they see like a hopeful, they see like you're like, if, if you didn't know, you're like this person's hope for the future. Like they met you and they started having a renewed hope for their future. That they could have stability, that they could have abundance, that they could have a family, that they could end up with, you know, in a power couple type dynamic with somebody. But it's almost like this person's been taking this to for granted, though. They've been maybe listening to people, getting bad advice. Mm, I don't know. Spirit's not really saying. I see that they've been trying to make a, a, a choice about whether or not they want to have this with you. And it's crazy. Like you would think, why would it be hard for somebody to, to choose abundance, to choose love, to choose stability, um, family, like something so positive. Like, I don't see why is this person having a hard time choosing that? 
<laughs> it, it could be because they're just not used to it. It's scary to them. What is the, why are they not choosing this? Mm, they're hiding their true feelings. Why are they not choosing the collective? Yeah, they feel like it's very hard to stay away from you, but they don't want to show you that. Why are they holding back or why are they not making this decision? Um, What about broken promises? They have a knowing that what? I don't know. Spirit's not wanting to tell me. <laughs> this person's about to realize that you're not going to be taking action towards them. They thought for some reason that you were going to chase them or that you were going to take some type of action towards them. They just knew. They just knew that you were going to take action towards them or they're starting to realize now they have the inner knowing that you're no longer going to be trying to take, you know, you've broken their trust and promises so many times. Like they've become so unreliable. You're, you're like kind of falling back. You're, you're standing your ground with them now. And it's pushing this person to their breaking point. Like they're going to come in and want to try to, they know they're going to have to do a lot to make something up to you. Or they're going to have to come in with like emotion, um, a gesture from the heart to be able to get through to you. I don't know. Why are they being like this? I don't know, y'all. Mm. What does this have to do with? Yeah, they've been going in circles. Why? Hmm. Why have they been doing this? They need to heal. I don't know, guys. They're just very unhealed. Yeah, lying. Why are they lying? They even maybe were telling you that they were getting their life together and that they were cleaning up their life and they weren't really. Like, I don't know. They just were being very resistant to change. I don't see clear indication. Tell me about, they're maybe used to very surface level relationships and this one is calling for them to dive deeper. They're probably not ready for that. Tell me about plastic. See, this person's been trying to play it off like they don't have the same deep feelings for you as you have for them, that they don't love you, that this is very, very surface level for them, but it's not true. It says your feelings are mutual. Yeah, abundance. What about abundance? Unrequited. I feel like this person just feels like, what are, why are they mad or why are they triggered? If you, you're ignoring this person, either you, you've triggered this person and they've been running from this or they're mad that you're running from them. What is this triggering? Yeah, they watch you. Trying to make up their mind about something. They maybe even think you're out there dating again. Yeah, while they're not getting any action in love. Mm -hmm, Y'all. Why do they think it's unrequited or you think it's unrequited? Why do they think that Capricorn doesn't love them? Why do they think that? It's something from the past. It has nothing to do with you. This person thinks that if you love them, well, they don't think you love them because you're not taking action towards them. Or like they feel like if you love them, you would wait on them. You would let them get their shit together. Yeah, like they, they feel like you don't, you're not showing them that you're, that you would fight for them. You would chase them. Uh, you would think that they're worth the wait. Like what in the hell? <laughs> This person's crazy. You may hear from them with some type of love offer. This could be your freaking toxic twin flame that you're in separation with that doesn't want to lose you. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, they're going to reach out. What are their intentions? They're going through some type of new transformation or coming into a new self. You could also be doing the same thing or you're making some big changes that and you're not going back on those changes. Like you're sticking to it. You're standing your ground. So this communication that's coming in. Yep. Reconciliation. Wanting to work things out. They will return. There's unfinished business. They're holding back or you're either you're going to hold back from them or they've been holding back, but they're going to come in with some reconciliation, some reconciliation. Yes, that, but with communication saying, I'm getting my life together. I'm cleaning my life up to be with you. I'm trying to make healthier choices. I'm cutting negativity out of my life to be with you. Can you please wait on me? Ooh, they may even want to sleep with you. Yeah, they could be coming towards you with lustful intentions. They don't, this is what this person doesn't like. They don't like that you're single and available. Nope, they don't like that. Um, What are they, what about clean up for this person? I think they want you to wait on them. Yeah, they want you to, they want you to be like, they're gonna be like, I'm getting on the right track and... I'm, I'm getting more on your level. And what about ghosting? Happiness. 
Yeah. You're going to be happy without this person. It's going to make them feel very foolish. Triggered. It's triggering them. They're watching you happy without them. They don't like that. They're watching you very abundant. What else does this mean for them? Regret. <laughs> yep. Engagement. Mental prison. They're thinking like, dang, I should have made things official with Capricorn. I should have married them. I should have committed to them. I should have kept my promises to them. Feeling guilty, remorseful, wanting to undo the damage. Yep. And they're in their head creating scenarios, thinking you're out there. <laughs> I was going to say thotting and bopping, but <laughs> they think you're out there dating and sleeping with other people and moving on and you're happy without them. It says overthinking, creating scenarios, thinking of you a lot. Yeah. What else do they need to know? Yeah, they're feeling left behind. They're feeling left. The players getting left out in the cold. And guys, they may, if they had a supply, if you know what I mean, if they had a supply of people like, or they thought that the grass was greener, they thought that they could find another you, or they thought that those options are gone now, or they're leaving 1111 on the camera. Um, they were refusing to commit and now they're being left behind and they don't like it. Like, and I don't think that they're getting any attention or action. Yeah, they're feeling like, what about wish come true? Love and growth. As they start to like, they're learning lessons here. And as they learn these lessons, they're going to realize that they, they're, they're getting left behind by their wish fulfillment, their wish come true, their dream person. Um, because they were so stuck in their destructive behaviors and ways of thinking and habits and addictions. And also maybe focusing on work and yeah, playing the victim and all these things that they were in. They wouldn't make up their mind about you. But didn't I say lessons? Love lessons, learn, shift in perspective, raising your vibration. Yeah, this person feels like you are. You guys are on two different levels or you guys are about to be on two different wavelengths. And yeah, it says desire but dangerous, not socially acceptable, tempting and alluring. Yeah, this person's about to start chasing you. Yeah, they're about to start chasing you. This person thought that at the right time, you guys would just be together or something. It's weird. I don't know. They just thought that one day when the timing was right, y'all would be together. And they didn't have to make any changes. They could keep acting like this. And you were just going to be there. Delusions. Delusions. They thought that they had you under their thumb. All right. Anything else? Addiction. Yeah. I'm telling you. The, that addiction. Yeah. Mixed signals. Inconsistency. Lack of clarity. They maybe have even had some addictions or bad habits that you guys weren't even aware of. And that's why they were so in and out inconsistent. There was a lack of clarity about that. But yeah, what about heartbreak? What's that mean for them? <laughs> They're heartbroken. They're not going to feel like they can move on from you. They're going to be suffering and grieving over you. And you're going to be in this energy, working out, going to the gym, looking your best, focusing on you. And they're going to be going through it, y'all. I'm telling you, I see it. Because they, yeah, they wanted to avoid you. They were running from themselves, ignoring you. And then what's the shocking event? What? This don't make sense. What about spotlight? Triggered, what, triggered by what? Connection. What does this have to do with Capricorn? I feel like they're going to realize something here. That you're not like these karmic connections that they had experienced before. That this was like an opportunity for them to really be a power couple with somebody. That you were different. You stood out from the rest. They should have taken you more seriously. Or something like, yeah, this wish come true card keeps wanting to come out. What is making them realize this? What is making them realize it? As they heal, self-care, self-love, reevaluating needs moving forward. Hmm. Why are they realizing this now? Why are they realizing this? Proof. Yeah. What is the proof that they're getting or the... Okay. What about it? What's this mean for Capricorn? They can't... They just can't stay away from you. They like need your attention. Yeah. They don't want anybody else to have you. They have a fear of losing you. So they're trying to come up with a plan here. And what about liar though? I don't like that energy. What about habitual liar? Unrequited. They lied to you. They told you that they didn't love you or that the feelings weren't mutual or something here. This person's been trying to play it off, like play it cool, like they don't love you or that they don't have as strong of feelings for you as they do. But they know that if they come in and they start chasing you, that it's going to be pretty obvious how they feel about you. And they don't want to have to give in and do that. That's what I'm getting from that.
they want it to seem like you're the one that needs them and you're the one that's in madly in love and obsessed with them and chasing after them and that gives them some sense of validation or importance okay person does not want to show any weakness they don't want to show any vulnerability here nine of wands yeah guarded energy testing of faith the final push boundaries that's also you guys setting your boundaries and keeping it moving yeah they're slowly coming towards you taurus virgo capricorn energy and with the ace of pentacles though or with the pentacle so yeah recovering from they're recovering from some type of financial loss or something what's this have to do with anything or you guys are overcoming something that was very difficult for you yeah they have a fear of change hmm or this is them they're gonna try to recover this but i don't know for some of you it may be too late anything else yeah, the ten of temperance in reverse, though. I don't know. This is going to... They're going to... I don't know. <laughs> I see them maybe coming towards you, and it's just going to end up in another conflict or argument. Maybe that's why they're not coming in right now. They don't want to fight. They know that they're not in a place to get, have anything balanced with you still. They know that they need to heal. They feel like they're losing control, though. But I feel like they feel like if they come towards you right now, you guys are going to have a fight. So they're waiting... Yeah, they're waiting to take action here, but they, they're going to Gemini. I mean, uh, what was I going to say? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of you, it could be that, but Aries, Leo, Sag, heavy Sag here, releasing pain. They need to heal. Yeah, they're going to try to heal this though. It's the star. Yeah. What's this mean for this connection? The magician, what's manifesting? Hmm. I don't know. With the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, I just don't see it. They're still being resistant. But they're feeling like left out in the cold. They're feeling heartbroken. They're feeling the loss of you. They're feeling very regretful, but they're not doing anything about it. Yeah, they still can't make up their mind. Yeah, and it's, it's like they're going through some type of family issues. Like I said, it could be a divorce, financial fail failure or loss of an investment, dark side of wealth, deep family conflicts. Conflict over money, breaking traditions. Yeah, that's what they're going to need to do is break some type of tradition or something dynamic in their family situation or they're going through a family conflict or something like that. And that's the reason why they're so confused and what's clouding their judgment. And it's an illusion. Like they're maybe also not seeing that their situation is toxic that they're in. Like they that situation is not stable. It's not good. They have a fear of walking away from it, though. They, they're going to get clarity. Ace of Swords, they're going to see it. Yep, they're going to get a new outlook on everything. Yep, they are. Wow, and they're going to come in with that Ace of Pentacles. That's that Knight of Pentacles. I'm telling you, he's this person is slowly, he or she, slowly coming towards you with this offer. They're slowly realizing things, slowly opening their eyes, snapping out of this illusion. Wow, this person's about to level up or something. Wow, guys, look at this. There's that power couple. We have the queen and king of sword. Uh, king of, why do I keep saying that? Some of you is something about air sign or something, but no. King and queen of pentacles here. They're going to take a leap of faith. There's going to be a new beginning. Yes, reignited passion between you and this person. There's that. The king and queen of pentacles. That's the power couple right there. Yup. You guys are going to be like really like financially abundant together as well. Yup. So I'm going to take this over to the extended reading to take a deeper look to see what's going through this person's what's going on in their situation because they got some chaos going on or something. Um, get timing, guidance, all of that will be in the extended reading. Um, personal readings are open. There is a link in the description box to schedule a personal reading with me. The link to the extended reading will be in the description box or you can join my channel to get access to all my extended readings. Um, and don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I will talk to you soon or I'll see you in the extended reading. Bye.